Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video we are going to use the concept of classification to classify based on practical data set. Okay, the data set I am taking from Kaggle.com, this particular link will be provided in the description box. You can go to this link and download the popular diabetes data set. Okay, what we have to do basically in this particular case certain criteria of a particular human being will be given and based on those uh, available data we need to predict whether the person is suffering from diabetes or not right so here you can uh, explore more about the data set okay like different features like pregnancy number of times uh, that particular uh, woman became pregnant then glucose level blood pressure skin thickness insulin okay bmi okay diabetes pedigree function this basically somewhat uh, genetic nature right so diabetes pedigree function is basically measurement of the genetic factor age okay all these are basically independent feature and the dependent feature is outcome which we need to predict from this particular data okay and here our data set you can get here right so that's what same data set I have downloaded here in this Excel. Okay, so what is the fundamental problem after looking in the data set itself you can conclude. That is you can see the insulin level as zero somewhere. Skin thickness is zero. Okay, blood pressure is zero. Okay, so these possible, these are not possible actually. Blood pressure zero not possible. Insulin level zero not possible. Okay, skin thickness zero not possible. Pregnancy zero obviously possible. I hope you can understand for male. Okay, right. So now, uh, first of all, we need to clear these things. Okay, so that these values will not be zero. So let's go to the code. What I am doing? CLC clear all, close all. If you want, you can write warning off also. And I am reading the table. Okay. So let me just run this particular part. And then what I am doing? I am basically checking whether any null value is present or not in my data set. Okay, so if I just run, okay, so I have not imported the data set. So let me just run this whole section. Okay, and here our data is imported. If you just write data in the command window and click enter, you will be getting the data set. You can get summary of the data set using summary of data. Okay, no problem in that. So first of all, check whether null value is present or not. And if you just hit A, you will be getting all for all columns, it is giving zero value, so no null value present. So we no need to think about the uh, null value removal or null value handling case. Next, what we are going to do, we are going to apply SVM, okay, in this particular uh, machine learning implementation, okay. So in SVM, as you know, there are distance concept comes behind the algorithm, so obviously you need to apply the uh, normalization or standardization okay any um, among the between these two any feature scaling you need to do so i am doing that feature scaling part okay that is uh, for pregnancy glucose level blood pressure skin thickness insulin bmi diabetes pedigree function and age basically what i am doing i am basically subtracting the mean and uh, uh, dividing the value by maximum of that particular category minus minimum of that particular category okay there is nothing but i am doing normalization for each okay so let me just run this whole section right so step by step we are doing now what i am doing i am basically partitioning my data set into train and test which is obviously required right so i am using cv partition hold out okay so basically uh, training uh, set i am taking 70 percent testing set 30 percent you can take 80 20 ratio also training 80 testing 20 okay i am taking those index and these are basically index for test okay so complement of that will be for training so i am taking the uh, those complement of index and all columns for training data and uh, taking the same rows and all columns for test data okay so now let me just run this particular section also so so what we have till now done, we have uh, the done feature scaling, we have uh, take the uh, null values and then we have split it into train and test, okay. Now we are checking whether in our training set for glucose, for blood pressure, for skin thickness, for insulin, for BMI, for diabetes pedigree function, for age, 
null value is present uh, sorry zero value is present or not okay not null this time zero value because these zero values are not possible but we have seen that it was present so i am running this particular section to uh, to check that and if i just write this impractical and hit enter see multiple zero values are present for all the criteria so we need to remove those okay now the removing you cannot directly replace those uh, elements uh, where zero is appearing with the mean of the column okay what we need to do try to understand very carefully see consider this insulin column okay here in insulin column here zero value is appearing so what you simply can do you can simply replace this zero by the mean of the column where non zero values are there right but for uh, one person who is suffering from uh, diabetes insulin level will be differing from the person who is not suffering from diabetes so what we are going to do we are going to replace this zero by mean of this column itself but for the outcome one the zero will be replaced by the mean corresponding to the outcome one and for the outcome zero this insulin zero will be replaced by the mean corresponding to the outcome zero okay which basically uh, should give us better result so what i am doing try to understand first of all i am calculating g equal to those row index where glucose level is zero okay try to understand so all these g values g rows we need to handle glucose value we need to change but we will change in two ways first of all we are calculating for all the rows where outcome that is diabetes patients are di suffering from diabetes okay so outcome equal to equal to 1 and then what i am doing observe this line mean of data train dot glucose that is we are calculating mean of the particular glucose column complement of g that is glucose level is non zero and the person is suffering from diabetes okay so this is the part and we will place this ks in those values where glucose level is zero and the person is suffering from diabetes okay similarly here i am calculating the mean value where the glucose level is non zero and the person is not suffering from diabetes and this we will replace for the glucose level which is zero and the person is not suffering from diabetes okay like this we will do for blood pressure uh, we will do for skin thickness and all this okay then the whatever done whatever thing we have done for training data set now we will be doing the same for testing data set okay see data dot test data test i am applying and no need to worry about single line of the code code will be posted in the description box for you okay and doing the same replacement for test data set also then eventually we have done this test data set same operation no need to think much and then here i am doing my model fit csvm data train okay based on training data set we are modeling our uh, support factor machine dependent is outcome uh, column based on pregnancy glucose level blood pressure skin thickness insulin bmi diabetes pedigree function age all the independent variable i am taking and then i am taking my test data set apart from the uh, last outcome feature because for test we need to detect the outcome feature right so all rows i am taking but first to eighth up to eighth column i am taking total nine columns are there along with the outcome feature so first eight column i am taking and we are predicting this gs uh, based on our this particular model whatever we are creating using classification model okay and then to check accuracy what we will be doing we will be checking for which values this outcome and the uh, ninth column are same okay divide by total uh, length of the test data set multiplied by 100 okay in terms of 100% accuracy and that we are displaying so now let me just run whole section and run evaluate selection let us check the accuracy we are getting nearly 79.1304% accuracy which is quite high okay i can run once more to show you 76 i am getting okay this random value we are getting because strain and test splitting are random okay again 
so 79 76 all these values are basically a good uh, accuracy level we can say in terms of machine learning model okay like see this time we are getting 83 percent accuracy very high right so this is what about machine learning uh, project with practical data set i hope you have enjoyed this this is all for my this video thank you for watching